Let's work through an example that involves doing operations um, with vector components. So here are the directions. Let the vector u equal 2, 5, the vector v equal 1, negative 2, and c, which is a scalar here, equal 2. So remember this notation uh, for vectors u and v. This is the position vector or component notation. Um, so for example, for vector u, this is just saying uh, the x component is 2 and the y component is 5. Okay, so we're going to do a few different operations um, with vectors by components. So let's start with um, part A here. So it asks, what are the components of vector u plus v? Um, so let's start with that question. Um, so this is actually pretty simple to do. Um, so once again, it's ask, asking about the vector u plus v. And so far, we've only looked, about, looked at this geometrically. Um, but now we're going to do this kind of algebraically or component-wise. So to figure this out, the components of the vector u plus v, I'm just going to add the components of vectors u and v, right? It's just kind of what it seems. So for the x component, it's going to be 2 plus 1. And I'm just getting those from up here, the 2 and the 1. Um, and for the y component, it's going to be 5 plus negative 2. OK, so if I simplify that, the components of the sum of the vectors are 3 and then 3. Okay, um, in, in just a second, I'm going to show this to you on a graph, and so we'll see that this hopefully makes sense graphically as well. Um, but first, let's answer the second part of part A. What is, now this notation, remember, means the magnitude. If you see vectors in bars like that, um, it's asking about the magnitude of that vector. So this is asking about the magnitude of the sum u plus v. So we just need to find the magnitude of this vector we just found here. Um, so if you remember, um, if we are finding the magnitude of a position vector, we'll call it v of the form v1, v2, the magnitude of that position vector is simply uh, the square root of v1 squared plus v2 squared. OK, so then in our case here, the magnitude of vector u plus v is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared. So that's the square root of 9 plus 9, or the square root of 18. And we'll just leave it at that. OK, so let's just really quickly look at these vectors on a um, graph just kind of to match up our graphical understanding with our component understanding. So here I have already graphed vector u and vector v and this is just coming exactly from the way they were labeled before. Um, so u was 2, 5, v was 1, negative 2, um, and that's what I have here. I have these position vectors. Um, okay, and so we just calculated that u plus v, the vector, should be the position vector 3, comma 3. So let's just draw that in um, and see if that agrees with maybe what we would get if we use something like the parallelogram rule. OK, so I should be going to the point 3, 3 here. Um, so if I sketch that in. OK, so we're proposing that this is the vector u plus v. But let me quickly sketch in the sides of the parallelogram, like if we were going to do the parallelogram rule, and let's see if this agrees. All right, so I've just added the sides of the parallelogram here, and it looks correct. So this is how we do vector addition using components. Um, so let's go back now um, and do the next problem, which is going to be uh, subtraction. Um, so part B asks, what are the components of the vector u minus v? Okay, now this is just going to be really exactly the same, um, except we're going to be subtracting the component instead of adding them. All right, so um, 
vector u minus vector v. So I'm going to take the x components of the two vectors and subtract them, and then the y components of the two vectors and subtract them. So then I should have, in that case, 2 minus 1, comma, uh, 5 minus negative 2. Um, and that looks like it's going to get me 1 and 7. Okay, so this is the position vector, or the components, of the subtraction of these two vectors. Um, and then it asks, once again, what's the magnitude? Okay, well, that's going to be pretty simple as well. Um, we're going to do the same thing, just the square root of these components squared. So the square root of 1 squared plus 7 squared. So that's the square root of 1 plus 49. So the square root of 50. And you could graph this as well, um, and it should agree. Um, but for the sake of time, we won't look at that specifically here. Uh, and instead, we'll move on to part C, which is scalar multiplication uh, by components. OK, so this is asking, what are the components of C times the vector v? OK, this is what we call scalar multiplication. So we're taking the vector v and multiplying it by a scalar or a constant. Now, um, geometrically, what this is going to do is either stretch or compress the vector and possibly actually flip it in the opposite direction. And uh, we'll look at that in just a second on the graph. OK, but what was C? So C was 2. <clears throat> So, I'm multiplying 2 by vector v. And vector v was 1, negative 2. So, you'll often see it written like this. It's kind of like 2 times the vector 1, negative 2. Uh, and basically, all you do is you're just going to take that 2 and multiply it by each component. Um, so, then this is going to become 2 times 1 comma 2 times negative 2. So 2, negative 4 are going to be the components of this new vector c times v. Okay. Um, and then it asks, what is the magnitude of this new vector? And once again, we can do that the same way. Um, so that's just going to be the square root of 2 squared plus negative 4 squared, so that's a square root of 4 plus 16, or the square root of 20. Now there's another way, um, or another thing I should mention about this magnitude. Um, so this would also be, or another way to figure this out, would be uh, the absolute value of c times the magnitude of vector v. Uh, I wanted to point this out because you'll see this written in the book, and this notation is maybe a little confusing. So if you see these bars around a number or a scalar, it means the absolute value. If you see them around a vector, it means a magnitude. So all this is saying, if we apply RC, right, RC was 2, and the absolute value of 2 is just 2. So all this is saying is that the magnitude of the vector, of the new vector, CV should just be 2 times the magnitude of V, which makes sense uh, geometrically. So let's just really quickly look at this on a graph. All right, so here's our vector V pictured as before. Um, and what we just calculated is that our vector CV should be the position vector 2, negative 4. So let's just sketch that in and see how it looks um, geometrically. So 2, negative 4 would be here. And then if I extend a line, it's going to look like this. And so now this purple dotted line is the vector 2v. OK, you can see it, it's, it's in the exact same direction as v. It's just stretched by a factor of 2. Um, now, if instead we had perhaps calculated negative 2v, OK, then that would look like this. I would just point in the opposite direction since our uh, scalar multiple is negative. Okay, so this should give you a sense of how to do basic operations with vectors using components.